Tonight on Video Coffee House, we have crazy jazz poetry from a shiny faced man, Orange and Mushy, a rock video by a very pleasant neighbor, Jimmy Paul in Perilous Times, Religion and Television, and 944 about love and fast cars. All of us, it's us, we're on the stage, we're all here. And we're nobody, here now. Nobody, we're nobody here. can say anything different. It's funny watching um, four people dance in leotards. I'm, I'm, it's nice when we can all sweat together. God knows I sweated for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Uh, this is Sandra, and my name is Matthew. Uh, before we get started, I'd just like to call your attention to one thing, and that is that we are all naked in our clothes. And that we are all mortal and we all breathe the same air, and those three things can just kind of make us a family and bring us together. There's a lot to be said for bringing us together, naked under your clothes. First piece we're going to do is a, um, <coughs> a jazz poem, and the name of the first poem is um, the name of the first poem is a mouthful of cheese. A mouthful of cheese. <laughs> there was a shiny faced man. I'm talking a real shiny faced man. And he had this one long black hair. One long black hair growing out of the center of his head. The thickness of a rat's tail. <laughs> he was a shiny faced man with a rat's tail, the thickness of a hair growing out of his head. <laughs> he looked like my dad, but he wasn't my dad. He was a friend of mine with a shiny head. <laughs> This shiny faced man, he was standing there in front of God and everyone. A shiny faced man, damn if he didn't have. Damn if he didn't have. Damn if he didn't have a mouthful of cheese. Thank you. Our next up. Sandra has this laugh, by the way, that'll creep up now and then. It's kind of a, a, an amalgam of uh, the Betty Rubble's laugh. Yeah, shop at Woolworths. It's a fun place to shop. <laughs> Do it, girl. Our next, <laughs> our next piece is the next poem is uh, called Hair, Hair and Fur. <laughs> Aaron Fur. I walked into that cafe. I walked in that crazy little cafe. You can say it was my fave cafe. And I walked in, sat down, minding my own. A nice little table of nice worn wood. And I had worn this shirt before. I ordered me a carafe of wine. Sat there and I was I was halfway through that carafe. I tipped back my hat, pulled back up my socks, pulled up my socks, pulled back. <laughs> Scratched my mug. Thought about smoking a menthol, but didn't. And I was sitting there. <laughs> I was sitting there. <laughs> 
feeling good. And I thought about the years, I thought about the years behind me, and I thought about the years in front of me. And I opened my mouth wide. My mouth was open wide. And I proceeded to remove all the hair and fur I had accumulated in my little life. Thank you. Our uh, last uh, <laughs> our last uh, our last jazzola poem is um, one that was inspired on the uh, trip that I never took to France. <laughs> The name of this piece is uh, France. <laughs>
hearts of the people and the eyes start to flow with tears and the power of God gets down in the heart and roots out the problem and the person kneels at the foot of the cross and Jesus performs a work in their hearts and in their lives and they have a little fashioned Pentecostal faith meeting in the depths of their soul and they get up free and they get up happy and they get up filled and they get up full of God and they get up full of the Holy Ghost that's the greatest therapy and the greatest psychology the world